this recession though. Good morning. Let us all stand and acknowledge each other's presence as we turn to the people around us and greet them. Pleasant Easter morning. And lifting each other in prayer, may our thoughts also and our prayers lift up also people who find themselves in dire and destitute situations families that are struggling, especially in our parish. We also remember to lift up all those who are serving in the front lines, the first responders, and all those who provide services for the needy and the poor. Today, on Wednesday of the octave of Easter, our entrance song is, O oh God, You Search Me. God, you search me and you know me. All my thoughts lie open to your gaze. When I walk or lie down, you are before me. Ever the maker and keeper of my days. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. And with love everlasting you beseech me in every moment of life or death you are. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Gathered to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we constantly open ourselves to the boundless mercy and compassion of God. You are risen from the dead. Kirihie Elehison, Kirihie Elehison. You teach us the precepts of God, Christ Elehison, Christ Elehison. We come to know you in the breaking of the bread. Kirihie Elehison, Kirihie Elehison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose Saint John Baptist de La Salle to educate young Christians, raise up, we pray, teachers in your church, ready to devote themselves wholeheartedly 
to the human and Christian formation of the young. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were go going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The Word of the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory is his name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made <clears throat> binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into the Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. 
but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what were you discussing as you walked along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place in there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? He said to them, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astonished us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. <coughs> then some of those of us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened scripture to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the 11 and those with them who were saying, the Lord truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, when the angel announced to our Blessed Mother Mary in one of the <clears throat> Annunciation narratives that he will be called the Son of God, the child that our Blessed Mother Mary was to conceive in her womb, would be called Emmanuel, a God who is with us. We had a perfect illustration of who this Emmanuel is in the gospel story that we have just heard that he is a companion on the journey. And that Jesus, if by faith we acknowledge it, walks with us every day. And not just every day, not just in the beginning or the end of the day, but every moment of the day. But the question is, do we acknowledge him? Do we spend time with him? Do we allot him to only certain uh, times of the day but are we, as St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, would often uh, tell people or would often say that prayer is not just a matter of reciting our prayers or going into a liturgical event, but prayer is the lifting up of one's mind, heart, and spirit to the Lord. The disciples 
uh, who are on the way to Emmaus probably were fleeing or leaving Jerusalem because it was difficult there. And yet, our Lord Jesus accompanied them and started to reveal to them things that they needed to understand. And sometimes in our lives, if we allow our Lord, then we'll be able to receive the guidance and the graces and the blessings that we need. And, to, and then if we do that, if we open our hearts to the Lord, then we also allow the Spirit, the Spirit that He has promised us, to be with there, to be with us each and every step of the way. But in the end, God always respects our own will and our own choices. Because the disciples had to invite our Lord Jesus to stay with them. And it was there that they, He revealed Himself fully in the breaking of the bread. But probably they remembered what He said to do this in memory of me. In our first reading, we are reminded by the very simple fact of what St. Peter said, that what we have received, we ought to share and to give in return to others with joy in our hearts, with love, with cheerfulness, and with willingness. Today is also the feast day of St. John Baptist de La Salle. It's funny that my birthday falls on, the, on his feast day because had I not paid attention to God's call, I would have studied and graduated at the De La Salle University in the Philippines because that was the only college exam that I passed. <laughs> but it was hard. It was right minus wrong for the test. But then, in the end, I remember that day when I received the letter and I was already starting my uh, candidacy in the seminary or in the religious community then of the Alagad de Maria, I walked in our garden. So I took five paces. Our garden is small and five paces back. And I asked myself, what do you want me to do, O Lord? And in the end, um, I just probably heard the response, why don't you just try? And I guess that's what the disciples in Emmaus also did. They tried speaking their heart out to the Lord. And in the end, they received clarity, they received strength, they received courage, and they received the gift of an encounter with our risen Lord. May we all try to pray for that grace. May we all try to pursue that experience of being united with our Lord in our heart, mind, and spirit. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Recalling how the disciples on the road to Emmaus recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread, let us pray to God the Father for a deeper appreciation of the risen Christ as our spiritual food for the journey through life. Our response, Father, give us our daily bread. Father, give us our daily bread. That the Pope and the bishops may effectively proclaim the message of hope by their holy lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us our daily bread. That government leaders may bring hope and light to our people by their dedication to public service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us our daily bread. That we may understand why Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us our daily bread. That the sick may be healed and be strengthened by the reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us our daily bread. 
that the dead may enjoy the fullness of life in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us our daily bread. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. And we pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, the repose of the souls of Rudy Palacio and Juana Leperadi, and yours truly. We also remember to pray for the intentions we have received in thanksgiving for April de la Pena, Lani Papia Riodique, and Lourdes Manuel for the gift of life. We pray for the health and strength needed by Leticia Solis and Joseph Ejercito Estrada. We also remember for our dearly departed Joyce Gunneman, Luis Tovar, Genevieve Raigosa, Dr. Virgilio Campo, Matthew Farias, Dionisio Howe, and Blanca Tamayo. We also remember the prayers we placed in the Ark of Prayer chest, as well as those in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Heavenly Father, grant us the deep faith necessary to recognize your Son in all situations we experience in life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb that has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Nominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenisum Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini. 
asana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins when the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. An yus dehi, qui tolis pecata mundi, miserere nobis. An yus dehi, qui tolis pecata mundi, miserere nobis. Anius Dei, qui tolis pecata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon, the disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Alleluia. And in solidarity with our sisters and brothers worshiping with us online, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> we pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. One of the companions I've had on my journey in my priesthood is St. Joseph. Because I remember early on, before I was even ordained a priest, our bishop, the founder of the Alagad de Maria, Bishop, the late Bishop Julio Xavier Labayan, promoted the devotion also to St. Joseph. In fact, even before Pope Francis included St. Joseph in the Eucharistic prayer, Bishop Labayan has already been praying and including him in the Eucharistic prayer, which I followed. And uh, so today, I will be uh, handing out a booklet that says that is nine days with St. Joseph. It is a novena that you can do anytime during this year of uh, dedicated to St. Joseph. However, it would be nice if you do it uh, prior to May 1st, which is St. Joseph as the patron of all workers. But uh, I will be handing it out to you as you go out. Uh, if uh, you can, on one of these days, remember all of us, the priests here, the clergy, rather, here at Santiago de Compostela to lift us up also in prayer. And I thank you uh, prof profoundly from my heart for the many years that we have journeyed together, especially the last few years that it has been very challenging. And yet, a lot of our parish members and families, well, our parish members and families have rose to the occasion, which make me think of every day as my birthday, except uh, legally, today is my birthday. So we thank the Lord for that. So, birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Father Thomas. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. And I hope I will not make you late for your work. Oh, you can light it here. Where's, do you have a lighter there? I think we have inside. Okay. You can light it at the candle. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. So we now pray to our loving mother in Mary, whom has been consistent in accompanying each one of us and bringing us to her Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks.
Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our recessional song is Companions on the Journey. We are companions on the journey, breaking bread and sharing life. And in the love we bear is the hope we share. For we believe in the love of our God. We believe in the love of our God. No longer strangers to each other. No longer strangers in God's house. We are fed and we are nourished. By the strength of those we care, by the strength of those we care. Have a blessed day, everyone.